Hello everyone! Welcome to It's Crochet O'Clock. My name is Stephanie and today we are going to be working on the Arizona Crochet Along Part 6. I will leave all of the information for Pip and Poppycock's website and the Facebook group in the description box below as well as all the, the information for the yarn that I will be using. But for now, let's just jump right into the crochet. For row 55, we are going to be using color number one, and our first stitch is going to be a standing double crochet. So I am just going to prepare for that by making a slip knot, yarn over, and it's going to go into the very first stitch, which was a single crochet from our last row grab that tail so I can crochet over that tail because I don't want this to come undone. There you go. Standing double crochet. And now we are simply going to place double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way across. There will be 271 of them. And when you get to the end, after you count your stitches, make sure that you count them before you tie off because this is a fasten off row and we don't want you to end up with a yarn shortage or having to connect your yarn. But once you get finished fastening off, unpause the video and I will be right here with row 56 for you. Row 56 is worked on the right side of the work and it is worked in color 6. We are going to start with a standing single crochet. So I'm just going to make myself a slip knot. And the standing single crochet is going to be worked into the top of that first stitch, which was the standing double crochet from the previous row. Here's my standing double crochet. Now for the next stitch, we are going to place a half double crochet, but a back post half double crochet. So we will yarn over and then insert from behind and then loop around the front, grab our yarn, pull it through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. However it is that you need to turn your work to make it comfortable for you. I tend to flip my work around a lot when I'm working with back post stitches. What it's gonna do is it's going to push the V's that are created on the tops of the double crochets downward to give a little braided effect. So just yarn over, insert from behind, yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through all of them. Just going to work a couple more, just so you can see, we're going to work these all the way across this row. That is what it will look like. And you'll continue this all the way down to the end. And your last stitch will be a single crochet in the top of the last double crochet from the previous row. When you get to the end of this row, you will fasten off because we will be switching colors for the next one. We are ready for row 57. This is what it looks like after row 56. Isn't that a neat little raised effect? I love that. That row is one of my favorite rows. I'm not quite certain why. So for row 57, we are going to be changing to color number one, and we are working on the right side of the work, and we are going to work a back, a standing back loop single crochet. So I am going to prepare for my standing stitch. I'm going to make my slip knot and we are going to start in the first standing stitch. Let me get it turned around there. 
you might have to do the same because sometimes standing stitches will fold down in on themselves. So what we're going to do, there is this little V at the top of each stitch. We are only going to work into the back loop of that V. Grab a darning needle to show you. See how we have the V's going right here? you're only going to work into the back one. Whereas normally we would come in from the front and work there. That's not what we're doing for this row. We're gonna work on the back. So we're going to start with our back standing back loop single crochet. That's a mouthful. And I am going to slip into the back loop of that standing stitch there and then yarn over so there's the first one now this row is all the same we're going to work single crochets into the back loop only all the way across and something that you're going to notice you see how that's pulling up there that's okay that's normal don't freak out if you're new to back loops it will sort itself out i promise you as you go across the row I'm just working over that end just so you guys can see although that tail is getting in the way a little bit so there's our V we are inserting the hook and that's really all that there is to it I normally tend to turn my work towards me just so I can get into the rhythm of slipping between those two pieces of yarn easily so at the end of this row you are going to have 271 back loop standing no back loop single crochets mercy <laughs> and you are not going to fast off fasten off because we are going to change or um, we're not going to change our yarn color we're going to turn and continue on with this color so go ahead and pause the video complete all of these back loop single crochet stitches Ooh, i made it through one and i will see you for row 58. Row 58 is worked on the wrong side of the work. We have turned our work and it begins with a chain two. So there's one and two. And this counts as our first half double crochet. So we are not going to place our first stitch right there. We are going to work in the next stitch. We're gonna place a half double crochet there. So we'll yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up three loops on the hook yarn over, pull through all three of them. And that's a half double crochet. Now we're going to place half double crochets in each stitch all the way across. When you get to the end, we are going to fasten off and you should have 271 half double crochets all the way across counting this chain two that we had at the beginning. So go ahead and pause the video, continue working your half doubles all the way across, and I will meet you after you finish that for row 59. Row 59 is worked on the right side of the work, and it begins with a standing half double crochet and it's in color six. So I'm just going to prepare for my standing stitch with a slip knot. And it's a half double crochet, so we will yarn over. And this begins in the first stitch from the last row. Put that in there and then yarn over, pull through. Have all three loops on my hook and then yarn over through all three. Oop, I split my yarn. There we go. 
So there's my standing half double crochet. And now we are going to place half double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way across. So there will be 271 of them total. Do not forget that the last standing um, or the last half double crochet is going to go in the top of the chain two from the previous row. Pause the video, work your half doubles all the way across, and I will see you for row 60. We are now on row 60 and we are on the wrong side of our work. We have turned our work, did not fasten off for those last, or from the last row of half double crochets. Now we're going to do another row of half doubles. So we are going to chain two, and this counts as a half double crochet. So we will not be placing one in that first space. We are going to place a half double in the next space. And then we are just going to half double crochet all the way across this row, 271 of them. You are not going to fasten off your work. We are going to turn one more time. So go ahead and pause the video, work your half doubles all the way across, and I will see you for row 61. Row 61 is worked on the right side of the work. We're still staying with this color number six, and it begins with a chain one. This does not count as a stitch, so we are going to place our first single crochet in that first stitch space, and then we are going to place a single crochet in the next space, and then another single crochet. Now, we are going to pause for just a second. If you do not listen to any of my other advice, please listen to this, because it's severely important in a couple rows. Around this second crochet, single crochet space, you need to place a stitch marker. It's going to be extremely important, and if you don't do that, then you're gonna get lost and you're gonna be upset. Just trust me, listen to that. So you are going to single crochet all the way across this row, 271 single crochets. And then I will see you back here for row 62. Row 62 is worked on the wrong side of the work in color six. We've just chained, or turned our work rather from the last row. For this row, we are going to work a row of single crochets. So we will chain one and that does not count as a stitch. Our first stitch is going to go right there. So we are just going to insert our hook to make this first single crochet work that single crochet and then we will work a single crochet into each space all the way across. There will be 271 single crochets and when you get to the end of this row you're going to fasten off your work because we are going to have a color change for the next row. So go ahead and pause the video. We will meet back here when you have gotten to the end of this row. Row 63 is worked on the right side of the work, and it is worked in color number seven, which is our pop color. And our first stitch is a standing single crochet stitch. So I am just going to prepare for that quickly. Make myself a little slip knot. And we are going right into the top 
of that first stitch there. I'm going to go tighten that down. Alrighty, standing single crochet stitch. Now we are going to place four more single crochets in the next four stitches. We yarn over. There we go. There's one and then two, three, and four. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky and you may have to do this a couple times to get this. Do you remember back here in row 61 where I told you multiple times to put a stitch marker around that space right there? The reason being is because we are going to work a front post treble, but we are going to do it on a diagonal. So we're going to work a front post treble which is going to take up this space right here, but we are going to use this post for it. Whereas before we were just using the next posts over, this time we're going on a diagonal. Also, if your tension is very, very, very tight, you can also substitute a double treble for this. My tension is normally extremely tight, but for the sake of the video, I am going to try my best to work just a treble instead of a double so you guys can see properly what you're supposed to be doing. So we're going to yarn over twice. Make sure that this first loop on your hook is tight because trebles normally have larger spaces than single crochets or half double crochets up at the top. So you just want to try to keep that one loop right there as tight on your hook as possible. Yarn over twice and then we are going to insert and I have found that it's easiest to turn your work basically upside down and go through it backwards. And then not through your stitch marker, then yarn over, pull through Alrighty, so we will yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, there is our first diagonal front post treble, and as I said, it takes up this next space right there. So we need to place two single crochets in the next two stitches, so that would be this stitch and that stitch. So here goes our first single crochet. I apologize for the vehicles outside. For some reason, everybody has decided that they want to drive past my domicile. Who could be bothering me at a time like this, huh? <laughs> okay, so for the next one, we are going to count three spaces over from that single crochet that we just worked our front post treble around. So you might have to, if your tension is super tight, you can see how mine's pulling just a little bit. You might have to pull it over a little bit and then count. There's one, two, and three. So this is where we want to go for our next stitch. I'm just going to leave that there just so you can see it and hope that I don't poke myself. Again, try to keep this loop on your hook as tight as possible. While you're working, yarn over twice, and then reach back. Let me pull that out now. Pull through. There's one, two, and three. Now we're going to skip this stitch and place a single crochet in the next stitch. And then one more single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to go over this one more time. There's our trebles, starting our little arrows. If it pulls a little bit, it'll be okay because it will relax over time. If you're a fan of blocking after you get finished with this portion, you might want to lay it out and, and block it a little bit just to make the fibers release a little bit more if it bothers you, but all of our tugging and pulling and turning and all of that that we're going to do while we're working on this will cause this to loosen up. 
So again, we need to move this over just to make sure that we're keeping our stitch count proper. And there is one that is hidden behind right there. So there's one, two, and three. So this, see now I lost my place because I had to look for the darning needle. All right, so there's one right there, two, and then there's three. So again, keep this as tight as you can. Yarn over twice. Turn your work just a little bit and then wiggle underneath. I actually didn't wiggle all that great. One, two, and three. And we will skip this space and work into the next. Single crochet, just as we've done before, two single crochets after you do those diagonals, but you just have to make sure that you're skipping the space behind. And as I said, it's going to pull just a little bit, but that will be okay. I have this, oops, sorry, I shook you. I have that end poking through. So you're just going to continue this on all the way down to the end of your row, and your last stitch is going to be a single crochet in the last space, and then you will fasten off, and I will see you for row 64. Row 64 is worked on the right side of the work and it is done in color number six. Our first stitch is a standing single crochet so I am going to make my slip knot and we are going to work it right into the top of that. Get this over here so you can see into the top of that standing single crochet from the previous row. Grab onto my tail. Alrighty. Standing single crochet. Now we are going to place a single crochet in each space all the way across our work in color number six. When we finish, we will have 200 and 71 of them and you are going to fasten off. So pause the video, work all of your single crochets, and I will meet you back for row 65. Row 65 is worked on the right side of the work and it's worked in color number seven. It starts with a standing single crochet. So I am just going to make my slip knot as I have done several times before. And we will place a single crochet, standing single crochet in the top of that standing single crochet from the previous row. Sometimes they're difficult to get into, but just make sure that you get both loops of it. There we go. And there is my standing single crochet. Now we're going to do another row of front post diagonal trebles, only this time we're going the opposite direction. So we are going to dive right into it with this. Remember to try and keep this loop on your hook as tight as possible while you are working them. And if you are at a super tight crocheter and you're having difficulties, remember that you can substitute double trebles for this. Now we're not actually going to work around this post from the previous row. We are going to go behind the stitch that we attached to. Well, not that we attached to, but behind the stitch that was created. So we will just work 
that. Now the difficult part for this is we are still going to skip a stitch. So we're going to skip this stitch and we are going to place two single crochets like we did the previous diagonal row. We are going to work it right there. So you have to push down the arrow that is created and work your stitch. So there's one. Now we gotta push that down a little bit and get into the second one. And there is two. Now we're going to work another diagonal treble front post. So we will make sure that we have that loop as tight as possible, yarn over twice, and then come over here and work behind the stitch, pull it forward, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now bend behind and look, we are going to skip this first stitch, and then we will insert our hook. It's kind of difficult for me to show you. All right, there we go. There's the first stitch. Here is the second. So we will single crochet there and then place a single crochet in the next stitch. Now we are going to move on. Make sure this loop is tight. One and two, wrap it behind that next arrow post, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now we need to bend our work down. It's very hard for me to show you with this working yarn in the way. So there is the next stitch. We are actually going to work into the stitch after that. Come on. Wiggle through. There we go. Pull through there. Single crochet. And then single crochet again. I'm going to work through it one more time with you. Pull that loop as tight as possible. One and two behind that post, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, skip the stitch, the next stitch, insert your hook into the stitch after that. And two single crochets. Okay, let me pull this up and get all of this out of the way for you so you can see. Here is the back of the work. You can see these stitches. If I flip it over, you can see there was a single crochet and then this one is not worked and that's because the front post diagonal treble was right there. And then we have two single crochets and then a front post, two single crochets, and then a front post. So that's very important for you to pay attention to. I know that it's very hard to turn your hook and finagle it around to where you can see it. And I'm going out of focus. But you can do it. When you get to the end of this row, you will have five stitches left after you have attached to your last arrow and then you will place five single crochets and you will finish out that row and then fasten off and we will meet back here for row 66. Row 66 is worked on the right side of the work and it is done in color number six. 
It starts with a standing single crochet. So as always, I'm just going to make a slip knot. And our first standing single crochet is going to go into the top of the standing single crochet from the previous row. That first stitch. There we go. So now we are just going to place single crochets in each stitch all the way across. You should have 271 of them. Don't miss the ones that are folded behind our arrows. Sometimes they can get locked behind there and you'll miss them. Just remember that you'll have two short stitches, which would be your single crochets, and then one long stitch, which would be your trebles that you are working over. And I will see you once you have finished those and we will begin row 67. Row 67 is worked on the wrong side of the work and we are going to stay in this color, number six. It begins with a chain two and that is going to count as our first half double crochet. We're gonna work a full row of half double crochets, so we are not going to place a stitch in this first stitch because this chain two counts as our first half double. So we will yarn over and then insert into the next stitch and then pull through all of them. There is our first half double and simply half double crochet all the way across this row. You'll have 271 of them, counting that first chain two. Go ahead and pause the video. I will see you back here for row number 68. We are not going to be fastening off. We will work another row in this color. Row 68 is worked on the right side of the work and we are staying in color number six. We are going to chain up three, two and three. That's going to count as our first double crochet. We're gonna work double crochets in every stitch all the way across, but we're not gonna place one right here in this first stitch because this one counts as our first double crochet. So we will be placing one in the next stitch. And then 271 double crochets and count, counting that chain three all the way across our work. Don't forget that your last double crochet is going to go into the top of that chain two from the previous row. That's really easy to miss and I don't want that to happen to you. Row 69 is worked on the right side of the work and it's worked in color number one. It begins with a standing um, half double crochet. So I've already made my slip knot. I'm just going to yarn over. And the first stitch goes in the top of this chain from the previous row because that counted as a stitch. So we're just going to work into that chain to the top of it and pull through all three. There is the standing half double crochet. That is our first stitch for this row. We are going to work half doubles all the way across. And this one looks a little bit funky because of this chain, but I need to put another one right there for that second stitch. 
we're just going to work half doubles all the way across. There will be 273 of them. And we are not going to fasten off our work or change colors. For the next row, we are going to turn over our work. So go ahead and pause the video, work your half double crochets. I will see you for row 16, oh, row 70, sorry. We are on the wrong side of the work for row 70. We are going to begin with chaining three. So there's one, two, and three. And this counts as our first double crochet, which means that we're not going to place a double crochet there. We are going to go into the next space and we are going to double crochet all the way across. So there will be 271 double crochets at the end. And then we are going to fasten off and change colors for the next row. So go ahead and work all of your double crochets all the way across. And I will see you here when you finished. Row 71 is worked in color number six, and it begins with a standing single crochet in the first stitch. So we're going to go right there to that first stitch. And insert our hook, pull through and make our standing single crochet. Now for the rest of this row, except for the last stitch, we are going to be working back loop, not back loop, back post single crochets. So you're going to insert your hook from behind, wrap around that post, grab your yarn, pull it through without getting stuck, and then pull through back post, single crochet. Let me show you from the back. Insert your hook behind, wrap it around that post, grab your yarn, pull it through, and then yarn over and pull through. And you're simply going to work this all the way down your work. What you're going to do is you're going to create a lovely braided effect, kind of like this one right here. So your last stitch will be a single crochet in the very last stitch. Everything else will be back post single crochets. Should have 269 back post single crochets and then two oops, regular single crochets. So go ahead and pause the video and I will see you back here for row 72. Row 72 is worked on the right side of the work in color number one, and it begins with a back loop single crochet, or a back loop half double crochet, rather. So what we're going to do is this was the standing crochet from the previous row. We're looking for these little Vs right here, and we are only going to work in the back loop all the way across. But first we need to make a standing half double. So we're going to yarn over and then insert into that V, go, pull loop 
through. And there we go. So again, we're going to, you're going to see this pulling, but that's okay. It's normal. Don't let it freak you out. It will sort itself out. Simply going to work back loop, half double crochets all the way across your work. When you get to the end of this row, you'll have 271 of them. And then you will be finished with this side of part six. But go ahead and pause the video. I will meet you back here to show you what the completed part six looks like before you move on. Well, here we are finished with part six. Now all you need to do is just repeat everything that we have done on the opposite side, and I will see you next week for part seven. Thank you for watching.